guys, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to more LA Noir with the, uh, I don't know, the new star of the game, Jack Kelso. I feel like I can't get rid of this guy, which gives me some very specific thoughts on the way this game is going. And uh, yeah, I, I, got, I just got to say, I really wanted Kelso to be a bad guy. It turned out he wasn't a bad guy. I was really hoping he'd be a bad guy and I could just like take everybody down and I was going to be one to cop. But I don't think it's going to happen. I, th I got some ideas. I'm going to keep them to myself though. So let's go ahead and get back into the game, guys. I uh, I took a break between the arson cases here so I could copy the videos over, get them on my computer, start some video editing. And the whole time I was just like... I had so many thoughts going on in my head. I gotta, I gotta be careful. I'm thinking too much about this. Let's go ahead and get back into the game, guys. I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot because I, I'm like jazz right now. I want to finish this. Uh, I, I, I'm just like, I'm exploding right now. So let's go ahead and get back into it, guys. I will see you back in just a sec. I don't know. I thought Cole was just gonna say fuck it and do it anyway. That's honestly what I thought was gonna happen. I thought he was just gonna be like, nope, I'm investigating it anyway. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Something tells me we can do that. All right, better start looking. So you've just been pulling apart the film sets, huh? Ah, uh, this is a big room. Or a big area, I should say, not room. I think old film rules, reels are going to help us very much. It's just that again. Okay. Maybe if I check over here. Whoop. It's just a pen. Hmm. Sis. Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. So is there a film in here? Uh, I think that's good enough. Because it's in four, it's in reverse. There we go. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree 
that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. I don't think that's all that's here, though, is there? Great day for the future of Los Angeles. Civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban huh. Redevelopment Fund pledges... Why would they make a video out of it? Like, why would they do that? That sounds yeah, like... This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest... That seems like a mistake. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. Okay, did I find everything? Maybe. Okay, yeah, I don't hear any... I don't hear any music, so I must have found everything. Love how excited he is to jump that fence. Operator, I'd be glad if you put me through to police dispatch. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. Ooh. Well, I'll be honest, guys. I'm not so sure this is going to go well. Plus, what, what, Cole would be at the club, so we would run into him. Maybe he would maybe we'll be a little pissed. Are we going to play as, as Kelso for a while? Because I've really learned to hate him. <laughs> and... I don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause, baby. Okay. He like warning her that Kelso's coming or something?
Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to being Cole now. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Fucking in the alleyway. Assholes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm starting to hate felt. I can't help it. I can't help it. If you've ever been, uh... Oh, there was something left at the studio I missed. Okay, well, we'll go there first. If you've ever been cheated on, you know how that feels, so... Fuck him. <laughs> I don't care if he is the protagonist. Fuck him. Alright, let's go back to the studio real quick, see what we missed at the studio. I thought that I missed something, because it felt like... I don't know, it felt like it just happened abruptly. I don't know what the fuck I missed, though. Okay, let's look around his little... Thing here. Maybe we missed the newspaper. Oh, that might be what we missed. We probably missed the newspaper or something. Let's jump this. What's this? Anything? Anything here? Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on. That's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Oh. Okay. Wonder how much I missed the first time around. Yeah, I'm not hearing any music, so that's the problem. I wasn't hearing any music because I wasn't in the area. Okay, well, we'll jump the fence again. So I don't know if I actually found everything or not. No. Oh nope, here we go. So this is where their lumber comes from. Eastern white pine! I believe that's pine astrobus. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me look. It, it'll cross it off if it's done. Yeah, okay, there we go. So let's go to Elysian Field Site 2. Let's, let's head on. Woo! Going the wrong ways. There we go. I guess we're going to be learning all about their, their little escapades here. I wonder, I seriously wonder how long we're at to play as Kelso, as Kelso, Kelso, as Kelso. I really, I feel like the game has set me up to hate him so much. Hard for me to like him now. He's just gonna hit the, oh, I thought he was gonna hit the gate. I was like, shit. You can climb barbed wire, right? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'm supposed to go into that house. It's so scary because a house is like something that. Oh, go back, go back. I mean, it can really bust down. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Well... I mean, building codes exist for a reason, guys. Just like, there's gotta be families in houses, you know? Like, the idea that somebody could be that cruel and awful when you're gonna be putting families in them with kids and shit. I just, I don't understand. Good thing I'm not thirsty. Scamming people is one thing. And like, I, I think this is before they even get to a person, obviously, because they're not even like hooked up. They're gonna, they're gonna, uh, 
that's a light. They're obviously just gonna burn him down for the insurance money, but still, it's just like, jeez, getting these people all excited, thinking they got something going on in their life. It's just crazy. And those poor people, too, like if they're renting or anything. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh shit, I'm about to fight now. A tough act's easy to play when it's... Jeez. Time for you to lose no! your teeth. I'm no good at fighting. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. No! Shit. Oh. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Oh, I think I was supposed to fail. Well, that works out. Into the trunk. Great. That sounds lovely. Obviously, the Elysian Fields folks are fabulous. Just wonderful folks. They're doing so much good, you know. How very wonderful. How is he going to escape that car? Back then, they didn't have poles. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> yeah, we're either gonna die or escape. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Shit. How did he get the trunk open? Elsa. Oh shit. Get in a vehicle. Okay. Well, this one stopped just perfect for me, so I guess I'm getting in this one. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Uh, that guy ran away, so I think we're good. So I gotta get to Elsa's apartment using back roads and our back streets and alleys. Great, I can't even drive normally, and now you want me to drive down alleys. Monroe owns the city, owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Yeah, your friend, your non friend Cole Phelps already knew that. Shit. This does not work for me, considering I don't know how to drive a car. I'm so bad at it. Okay, at least it looks like we lost them. Game threw me a bone. Where are they? Is that the last of them? No. You know it's not, boy. Come on. I'm just waiting for him to reappear on my map. At least Elsa has Cole there, so I guess he could help protect her or whatever. Still, though. Fuck Cole. <laughs> Let's see, come on, come on. This feels weird that we have to drive this, but I'm not being chased by anyone right now. I mean, I feel like it's gonna come up. people with my car now since I'm no longer a, a policeman. Ooh, I don't want to go through there. Let's uh, turn here. Yeah, 
Man, why does she have to live so far away? Okay, there we go. So, we're pretty close. So if I turn here, I can't ask my partner for help. Okay, we're just gonna drive down the sidewalk. <laughs> just a little bit. So I guess I still can't hit people. Okay, here we go. Why is the car giving out? This is weird. What's your problem? It's not clicking into a cutscene, but oh, there we go. Huh? Still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Well, that was interesting. I didn't do as much uh, damage that time. All right, so the truth is out on Elysian Fields despite Leland Monroe's best efforts to bury it. Jeez. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching me play L.A. Noir. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me, helps other people find the videos, and as usual, guys, it is a huge motivation to keep moving forward. In just a second here, there's going to be a picture of my big dumb face popping up on the screen. Click on that if you'd like to subscribe. That will let you see when I have new videos out. Otherwise, there will also be a playlist to all of my L.A. Noir videos, as well as a video that YouTube thinks you'd like. I will see you guys in the next one.